I finished the check, Doctor. The lunarium count is less than 10 milligrams. 10 milligrams. I must make the moon journey soon. Uh, Walter, you've done enough for one night. Thank you, Doctor. Watch out for the electrified belt. Dan said it entirely surrounded the lodge. you let out, too. This may be our chance. Dr. Tymack a little visit. Lead the way. Walt has been gone an awfully long time. What is the meaning of this? Be good, Grandpa, and you won't get hurt. What do you want? A little information about your interceptor ray. Nothing you do to me will make me talk about that. You uh, may have reason to change your mind.
am from the Earth. Is this the moon, Luna? Wait a minute. I want to talk to you. I've got something very important to tell you. Queen Kana, I have brought you the captured exile as your advisor, Zuntar, commanded. For well, what reason to waste time on him, Zuntar? Put to death, if he isn't dead already. You've just been touched by the sleep ray, Your Majesty. With your permission, I shall question him. Akbar, arouse the man. punishment for all exiles found outside the caves. You're making a great mistake, sir. My name is Tymank. I'm a scientist. I came here from the Earth. This is the moon. The man is mocking us. Had him destroyed. One moment, Your Majesty. Did you see any spaceship? None, Your Excellency. The man was found wandering alone on the Great Plain. How is it that you all speak English so well? The fellow is either mad or pretending to be. Let us confine him until we learn which. Take him to the dungeon. You're making a mistake. I can prove silence. Guards. Perhaps he did come from Earth, although no one else has for the past 50 years. Buddy, you're headed this way. Right on schedule. I hope you know what you're doing. I do. I'm going to be Dr. Tarmac. What? That's funny this place isn't guarded. Yeah. I'm Rick Bradford. This is Mr. Sanderson. We came to see Dr. Tymack. What about? Uh, Dr. Clausen sent us. Okay, come on in. These glasses are rather difficult to see through. And so from these findings, I'm able to reach the following preliminary conclusions. Dr. Tymack, this is Mr. Bradford and Mr. Sanderson. They say Dr. Clausen sent them. But, of course, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. How do you do? Much younger than I expected you to be, Dr. Tamay. Oh, appearances are often deceiving. Now, I never would have thought that anybody could be as young as you and uh, still attain Brick Bradford's fame. You see, Dr. Clawson has told me much. Have you seen him lately? Uh, he'd scarcely send anyone here without first consulting me, whatever he told you. But enough of this. I know you gentlemen must be anxious to see what we're accomplishing here. Oh, we sure are. Mm. Oh, uh, you two might go in search of those minerals we were discussing. Yes. 
And uh, if you gentlemen will come with me. Here is an atomic accumulator, similar in principle to the ordinary storage battery, in which energy can be stockpiled. And what's that, a cyclotron? Not quite. But we use it for a similar purpose. In it, we use, Mr. Bradford, uh, something much more important. Precisely. This is the atomic interceptor. I suppose Clausen described the extent of our progress with it. Oh, just in general terms. Oh, yeah, he said that with a very slight change, it could be turned into a terrific offensive weapon. He said that, did he? I think Sandy must have misunderstood. Perhaps not. Now, if you'll step over here, I'll show you another machine which operates on a ray principle. I should like to explain this machine by demonstration. I think you'll find it interesting. If you'll uh, just stand over there against the wall where you'll be out of danger. All right. I'll uh, give you only a short demonstration. The machine is as yet imperfect. Of Dr. Tymac, alone and helpless on how much longer keep up this dangerous deception?